Hello, everyone. Comrades, teachers, and awardees from the world of education, dear parents and sponsors of the ceremony, I hope that all the awardees have arrived safely in Wagadugu and that their stays are going very well. We give thanks to God for this. And above all, let us pay a vibrant tribute to our FDS visionaries and our VDP, thanks to whom this ceremony is possible. So this morning, under a theme that calls us all. But before I continue my remarks, I would like us to take a minute to pray for the repose of our comrades who have gone before us. Thank you. Education stakeholders, I wanted to take a moment this morning to thank you and congratulate you all from the bottom of my heart. Congratulations for your courage. Congratulations for your selflessness. Congratulations on your resilience. Because in the face of the security situation that the country has been experiencing for several years, you are among the most resilient actors of our nation. From the most remote areas, under terrorist control. We receive reports from our fighters, who inform us that, very often, the only state actors they encounter in these areas are either teachers, or quite frequently, health sector workers. Thank you for this resilience and unwavering determination. The role of the teacher is indeed a truly sacred duty. The role of the teacher is very complex. You may not realize it, but I am going to explain why and entrust you with new missions. Your role as a teacher is indeed very complex, in the sense that you must impart knowledge to the younger ones and educate them. Remember that a nation that indeed fails to educate its youth is truly doomed to disappear. This nation will never know peace, absolutely. Your role is very complex, because in addition to imparting knowledge, you must educate the children. You will have to be their parents. You must teach them good manners, what is right and what is wrong. You will need to instill the values of our society in them. I insisted, through the Minister of Education, that you visit the museum to reconnect with our cultural values. This is very important for you. And so we have values on which Burkina relies. Integrity, honesty. You must instill these values in the young people you mentor. At the same time, you become their parents. In addition to that, I wish for patriotic values to be instilled in the younger generation. Today, more than ever, our nation is facing difficulties it has never known in its history. And to overcome, we need to have patriots, citizens of tomorrow. And to have these citizens, these patriots, the role now falls to you. Train pioneers. Teach them to love their homeland. Teach them to have confidence in themselves. Teach them to love their neighbors. Teach them to live as Burkina Bay. This mission now helps you to evolve. Teach them everything you can so that they become very good citizens of tomorrow and ensure the succession. Your role is indeed very complicated because you now have to play the psychologist. In your classes, you indeed have children who have lost everything. You have many children who have lost their parents, who have lost their families. You have children who have experienced atrocities. You have children who have witnessed heinous crimes, who are traumatized, who are in shock. You must act as psychologists. You must ensure that these children forget this violence, become themselves again, and instill in them everything they need to be the citizens of tomorrow. So understand why I say that your role is very, very essential and full of priestly duties. Dear teachers, you who represent the world of education here today, those who impart knowledge, who must educate on the values specific to Burkina Faso, who must educate on patriotic values, be greeted once again. Take your profession seriously, for the future of our nation depends on you. If you educate these young children well, we will have a better Burkina Faso tomorrow. And if you fail, our homeland will have failed. Remember, the imperialists are waging what they call today the fourth generation war. The main objective of this war is to ensure that for generations and generations, our nations can never build themselves. They want to ensure that these children grow up in an atmosphere of terror and violence unable to distinguish between right and wrong. And only you, by playing, can these psychologists help them distinguish between good and evil in order to be good citizens. Because for them, 
If children grow up in such an environment, we will have several generations that will never be able to make peace, who will kill each other because the rule for them will be war. Look at some nations in Africa that have not known peace for decades. That is exactly what they did over there. Let us ensure that in Burkina Faso, we are not in this situation. The future of our nation rests in your hands. And I ask you to take this mission to heart and to transform our future generation, our society, so that we may have tomorrow citizens worthy of that name. And you promise me here that you will do it. Thank you very much. To you, dear students, congratulations for the work accomplished under difficult conditions, but you have managed to stand out. Through this day, you motivate your peers to be able to be in your place next year. It is a healthy competition that you are instilling in your peers, and we wish them good luck and a lot of courage as well. Therefore, be dignified, Burkina Bay, for those who have experienced the effects of this barbarism. Make the effort to stay close to your comrades and to be united. Those who have not experienced these situations should be the ones advising others, leading others to have fun and forget about these situations. Make sure to be united, to be integral Burkina Bays, to be men of value, respect your parents and elders, and work as hard as you can. Respect your parents because you must also help them. We often talk about certain texts that call for banning child labor. That's good. But I can tell you that our society is built on values. And within those values, you must do a minimum of work for the parents. Me, the one you see in front of you, I have washed my mother's pots. I have pounded for her. I was shot for her. I sold this donut. My comrades mocked me because it was women's work. I did it. It didn't stop me from being first in my class. It didn't stop me from being who I am. Help your parents. Help them with their tasks. And especially during these holiday moments, learn to work. Learn to do something with your 10 fingers. It will help you. In your schools, the environment must be clean. Your classrooms and the surroundings around you. Make sure to always stay clean. Plant as many trees as you can. And your teachers will help you learn the basics of agricultural production particularly in gardening, awaken in you. This Burkina Bay spirit, awaken in you, this love for the homeland. You can and you must encourage all your peers to be very good citizens out of solidarity. And I count on you to be the driving force that will lead your peers towards excellence. And as for you, sponsors and members of the government, we indeed have a mission, a mission to truly mentor these young people and support them. I can tell you that when we definitely lower the fever of this war and significantly control our military spending, we will need to invest heavily in certain areas. We have stratified the areas and functions, and in the first layer, we find, of course, our defense forces, our internal security forces, the teaching community in general, the health sector, and the agricultural sector. We will therefore be able to focus on improving the living and working conditions of the actors in this world that I have mentioned, specifically the four main areas I just cited. The other layers will come gradually. That is why we have launched several initiatives, both in the agricultural sector and in the fields of education, health, and community development. And through these initiatives for education, we want to build our schools, our grandes écoles here, to train our elites so that they can serve Burkina Faso. That is why I would urge you to go all out so that we can establish these elite schools so that these talented individuals do not end up going abroad. Because for a long time, imperialists have always drawn talent from here through scholarships. Once they are home, they do not return to the country. I do not want these brains that are here to end up abroad and not serve our country. Make sure that these initiatives succeed and that we can establish the polytechnic and technological universities we need so that these children can express all their talents and work for the benefit of our homeland. It is almost like another indeed. And finally, to the brave defense and security forces, to the volunteers for the defense of the homeland, I am going to express my gratitude and anger and pay tribute to them here. Because thanks to them, 
we are able to open these schools to study and know today these days of excellence. Thanks to them, Burkina Faso stands strong. Therefore, we can only thank them. And through these two defense and security forces, who were recipients of the decorations, you will understand that they have given their all throughout this year so that children in their area can access education and achieve good results in their exams. Congratulations once again to all the defense and security forces who are fighting with all their heart and soul for our homeland. Their sacrifice will not be in vain. Through your symbolic gesture of contributing to the peace effort, it is a message to all Burkina Bays to continue contributing because just as we equip and train ourselves, the enemy is doing the same. And we will consistently and increasingly strive for our forces to be the best they can be. To the brothers of the AIS who have come to support us, we thank you and hope that we can merge our intellects so that our elites can be adequately, unwaveringly, and consistently supported to serve the states of the Sahel, and that these states become a model of integration and development in Africa and the world. Thank you very much indeed to everyone for this day, and I wish you all a safe and pleasant journey back. God bless Burkina Faso. May God protect our defense and security forces. Homeland or death, we shall overcome. Welcome to Noble Black News, where empowerment meets truth. Our mission is to uplift and empower the black community. We stand for truth, integrity, and representation. Our stories are your stories, told with pride and passion. Join us as we celebrate our heritage and our future. Together, we are stronger, louder, and more united. Noble Black News is your voice, your platform, your news. We bring you the stories that matter with integrity and heart. Our commitment is to the truth, no matter the cost. We highlight the achievements and struggles of our community. Every story we tell is a step towards empowerment. We are more than news. We are a movement. Join us in making a difference, one story at a time. Together, we can change the narrative. Noble Black News, empowering our community, one story at a time.